Welcome to 100 Days of Cloud FinOps with Hyper. We have been talking and seeing about the FinOps principle related to the FinOps data should be accessible and timely. Today we will see how Hyper helps with getting the data as soon as possible and ability to present this FinOps data in a consistent way across your organization. When it comes to collecting the data, Hyper uses the first come first served basis. What it means is when you create a connection to a cloud provider such as Azure or AWS, Hyper can take all the information related to the uh, your AWS or Azure API endpoints along with cost exports so that Hyper not only collects the cost data but it can also collect the metadata about the resources, the pricing details, and resource metrics and so on so that way even if the cost data is given to you from the cloud provider in a delayed fashion hyper can still go and get the rest of the information as soon as possible so hyper tries to kind of eagerly get the data so that you can make right choices as soon as possible and after you collect the data you can monitor what's happening uh, how the collection from those data sources are happening and whatnot so that you can always keep an eye on whether you are looking at the recent latest data or is there any problem in collecting the data or processing the data so this monitoring view in hybrid provides a good visibility and transparency into what's happening in the back end of the hybrid when it has collected and completed all the data for various connections and various cloud providers that you have configured Hyper with. In addition to having the transparency and visibility into when the data is being collected and how far they have been collected, you get a consistent view into the entire cloud FinOps data across the portfolio of your subscriptions and uh, projects and accounts in AWS, Azure, GCP, uh, VMware, across the board and it provides a consistent view for the entire organization. You may be a cloud FinOps practitioner, you may be a you know a finance accounting exec executive, you may be an engineer in one of the uh, teams in a different region, doesn't matter. Hyper provides a consistent same truth across every organization in your company along with giving a consistent view across uh, everyone in the company hyper also provides the trend the variance analysis uh, you can watch how the trend is happening uh, you know across various subscriptions various cloud providers from a single place and you can make various choices depending on what's happening with your cloud spend with near real-time information. Along with getting the monthly data, Hyper also gets daily and hourly data so that you get up-to-date information with less delay in uh, you know getting the information and making the decision. Because having this near real-time um, visibility into the cloud spend improves the efficiency of the cloud utilization it uh, brings in good behaviors because the feedback loop is very shorter in this case so that the decisions are made in the right uh, in a right time frame you know it's not like you are seeing the data after one month of some uh, spend happening you are seeing it in near real time so that any optimization can be you know done uh, in, in with less delay so that the impact of such decisions are realized immediately Along with getting the up-to-date information, Hyper Cloud FinOps Workbench provides a unique feature or a view into everything that's happening, not just the cost data, but Hyper provides the ability to correlate various metrics, whether it is your resource metrics, performance metrics, your daily cost data, monthly cost data, or even the activities. If your users are going and, uh, you know, increasing the skew to an upper tier, higher cost tier or whatnot. Hyper provides this amazing visibility where 
you are able to correlate various things happening as they happen in near real time so that you can correlate the data of not only cost but the other resource metrics like uh, what's the you know your web jobs or functions or the serverless lambda functions uh, cpu utilization the edtu utilization of your sql server elastic pools and whatnot so you can see those things correlated in near real time so that you can go and optimize you know uh, how much ever you can optimize so that the cloud spend is really really being done in an efficient way you can select for example uh, related resources resource types and then uh, you can plot them together so that you can see across the dependencies in your application on what's happening so that maybe you know your uh, edtu or your database skew doesn't have to be that high all those things can be you know visually seen and represented in hyper so that you can make the right choices in, re in, in near real time thank you